Boys, girls, cats, and squirrels, what is going on? My name is Slightly Salted, and welcome back to my Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke series. Um, I just remembered I forgot to save at the end of the last episode. I am starting this episode right as I ended the last one. Um, no, nothing really. I got up, took a pee, came back, sat down. I'm like, hey, let's record another one. So, how are you guys doing today? Uh, I hope you did enjoy the first episode of the series, and I hope you are gonna stick around for the rest of the, uh, the rest of the series. Um... That's enough with the introduction. Let's get right into the video. Let's hop back into it. Continue the grinding. And yeah, because we really need to get this Aaron up there. I don't really know if I need to do a team recap. It's only the second episode, but you know what? Screw it just for the hell of it. I'm going to. Um, in case you missed the end of the last episode where we caught this bad boy, Aaron. Um, but alright, let's do a team recap. So, oh, not shifting. Memory. We got this bad boy, Aaron, with the white smoke ability, rocking that tackle and harden. And we've got this boy, Poliwhirl, with chlorophore, chlorophyll, raises speed in sunshine, with the water gun, hypnosis, and bubble. But yeah, that's the team we're rocking with. Let's get it going. Quite nice, Firo. We're stealing rock type. We're four times resisting this. Let's stay in here, go for some tackles. We missed. I know it's like 95% accurate. Come on. Don't get a fiber. Okay. Only two. Only two. Tackle. What are we doing? Not that much damage, but I'm gonna stick with it. Until he starts doing this kind of damage. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. Okay, we missed again. I'm done. Whirly, get in here. But yeah, we also did forget to nickname our Aaron last uh, last uh, episode. I did forget to do that. I accidentally clicked B instead of A to nickname him. Um, and we didn't really come up with a nickname because what I said was, oh, he color change. Okay. Uh, this maybe two more hits then. Yeah. Uh, what I did say was, uh, we're just gonna give him like a temporary nickname for now. And then, uh, when we get to the name raider, we are going to change it. I also did forget to look up where that was. Google it real quick. Pokemon Emerald, where is the name raider? Okay. I don't know if you guys heard that. My phone just said it out loud, but I don't know if the mic picked it up because when I was looking at OBS, it did not say it was picking it up, so that's a little weird. All right, Aaron gets level, Swirly gets level. That's beautiful. Uh, you're about to send in a Mankey. I'm not even going to risk it. I'm going to keep uh, this bad boy out here. Go for the water gun. One hit, one hit. Nah, I didn't think so. Wow, you're going to leer me. What a guy. Go for the water gun again. Um, but yeah, it's located in Slayport City, the nickname Raider, so we're gonna nick re nickname him once we get there. But I'm gonna figure out a temporary nickname for him right now. We could call him Iron Man. What are we gonna nickname him later? Nickname him Iron Man. We can nick uh, the guy. It is indeed a guy. Uh, so we can nickname him Iron Man. Um, what else could we nickname him? What, what I'm trying to think about now is do I want to keep everything like with an ending with an I so like slightly salted I want to nickname everything with an I Feel like we can name him Paul Key and it with a Y and it with an I instead of a Y oh it doesn't but a crit would have I played that too risky nope switch uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna nickname everything that ends with a Y, and instead of a Y, we're gonna name it with an I. So we got Swirly here. Um, we're gonna name Aaron. I think I'm gonna nick. I think I kind of want to nickname him Bulky. Or 
I did not see what was coming out. What is it? A Parasect. What a gun. I don't think it's going to be able to kill me, though. Oh. What do you got? What do you got for me? Poison powder. Oh. Oh, but I can die from poison in this game. That is something to remember. So we're going to skip the next trainer, go to the Pokemon Center, and come back after we heal up. I'm taking nothing too risky right now. We only got two Mons, and this guy's my only level 10. I'm going to play it safe. Um, I really wanted to play it safe. I could have grinded Arrowing up a bit before I started this uh, recording, but I didn't. So, yeah. Uh, but that that's what I think we're going to do. I think we're going to nickname all of our Pokemon. We're going to have them all end in an eye, and I think Aaron's nickname is going to be Bulky, unless we find something a little more bulkier than him before we get to... Um, before we get to... Play Port City. That's... Only, only after the second gym, but still, it's a little far. Yeah, what's our poly world at? Because we could die of poison in this game. 18, so that means we got 18 steps, I think. One, two, three. Make sure it's ticking only by one. Yeah. Four, five, six. A Lapras. Ooh. I think I can run. I'm going to have to swap first. Swap, then run. What are you going to go for? Water gun. That's not going to do much. Yeah, one. Poison's going to do two. That was a lot more than two. Okay, we have seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Oh, we're at two. We're sitting at two. We're sitting at two. Oh my god. Talking about yeah, we're gonna name him Bulky. That's what we were talking about. We were talking about the nicknames for Aaron and for the rest of our Pokemon. Uh, let's see what kind of cash we got. See if we can buy any extra Pokeballs. I don't remember ever having too much money after the, only the first route, but let's see what we got. Buy. Oh, we can't even buy anything. That kind of sucks. Nope. I mean to do that. Alright, let's go back over here. Let's battle the last trainer just to get them levels. And there's also an item down below, so let's pick that up. Um Yeah, that's gonna be the nickname for the guys. We're all gonna we're gonna name them all ending in an I. Yeah, that's gonna be the plan. So let's go bulky. Get some stuff going. Yeah. Um what else you know what you know what's on my mind right now pokemon sword and shield that's what's really on my mind i want to know the question of the day today is going to be what are you excited about for pokemon sun and uh sword and shield not sun and moon sword and shield like what are you most hype about or what do you want to see from the game like i'm really hyped about galarian uh galarian forms yeah lolan forms are sick uh, it's just it's just a copy of that. They're trying to show some love to some older characters, uh, some older Pokemon, or some Pokemon that just didn't get the love that they deserved when they initially came out. Um, so I'm really pumped about that. Uh, I really hope there's still a lot more um, Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. Reggie Ice. No explosion too. But you know. Um, Arden. Ah, uh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, I didn't think so. That's why I stayed in with him, because he's four times resistant. But I also, I'm still a little scared. Explosion's a scary move. Um, I was also just watching some Gen 1 Let's Plays. Um, like I'm watching United Gamer and Original 151. They just did a cage match um, series together. Just ended, and like, explosion in that game broken because it like halves your defense and stuff so i'm still kind of scared of explosion quick claw kind of neat i might as well give that to a pokemon even though like not gonna do much i'm still gonna give it just for the sake of giving it to it because you don't you can't sell it for anything you get like 50 for it 
So, no point in selling it. Give it to Aaron in case they were not outspeeding something. Uh, right now, let's go and do this um, Pokemon catching tutorial, even though I've already caught Pokemon. We still have to do it. Uh, but yeah. What else about Pokemon Sword and Shield? I'm really pumped about the starters. Um, I really want to see some cool final evolutions, some cool typings for the starters. Uh, like, I'm really afraid that Score Bunny is going to become fire and fighting again, and I really hate it because Score Bunny looks really cool. Um, and I like speed on it. I really want to see fire electric. I really want Score Bunny to be fire electric. That will be really cool. Yeah, it's four times a uh, week to ground, but I'd rather the risk. High risk, high reward. Uh, I'd be really down for that. Uh, so there's a lot of rumors also going around that's that Sobble is going to be turning into Inteleon, and I'm really sick about that. People are saying Water and... Why couldn't I get an Alakazam? What is this? Some people are saying Water Ghost. Some people are saying Water Psychic. There's people saying Water Poison. There's even been Water Steel thrown out there. I don't know. I believe in the Inteleon rumor that that's going to be his name, and he's going to be spy-themed. He teleported. <laughs> I did it! It's my Pokemon! Salty, thank you! Let's go back to the gym! He teleported on you. You didn't catch it. Um, I wonder if that means he's gonna have an Alakazam then. Later on. I guess we'll find out. Ugh. But, um, yeah, I really believe the Inteleon rumor. That's like the n one name that's really stood out there, and it's been in so many different rumors. Score Bunny has had so many different names. Like, there's been Raboot, which has been out there a lot. Then there's been, like, there's been, like, um,. The one that's even a bigger question is Grookey for like his final name. Like they're saying Grookey is going to be um, uh, Bong Gorilla and stuff. Like, but I believe that I still believe the rumor that says Grookey's going to evolve into um, Grass and Rock, and that would be sick. And if he evolves into Grass and Rock and he has a cool design, War Bunny is probably not gonna, I'm taking. Uh, even though that fire and electric are two of my favorite typings, why I really want him to be it. But also, fire and electric just looks like it could work really well with Score Bunny and Evolutions. Like a giant, like really speedy gorilla. That'd be sick. A uh, uh, really speedy bunny, I mean. Alright, time for another encounter. Another thing I'm really excited about is Gigantamaxing and Dynamaxing. I really hate that Megas are gone, but looking at the better side of it, what is with all these water types? I'm probably not going to use this guy, but I'm going to catch him just for having him in the back burner. Um, yeah. Tackle. I don't even think he can hit me. Oh, no, he has rap, probably. Let's hit him with a mud slap. That's not going to kill. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, but yeah, let's hit him with a mud slap, get him down some more. And also, he won't be able to hit me even more. But uh, Sword and Shield, look, the graphics of it. That's one thing I'm really pumped for is the graphics. It looks so nice. Oh my god, I can't wait to hop on the game and play it when it first comes out. Like I said, I'm going to be getting it at 12. I'm probably pulling an all-nighter. Uh might record it who knows maybe i'll even stream it oh i got him too low now i might not even be able to catch him because of the sand stream it's gonna be ticking him every time in the bowl right now or no i'm not gonna be able to swap it into polywarl and uh now it's the yeah we've got one more chance at this i don't really care i just want to catch him so if i run into another tentacle i can call dupes one, two, three, caught. Sweet. I said caught a little early there. I was a little worried I was going to jinx it, but it's all good. I caught it. It's a beauty. Yes, let's nickname him. What are we nicknaming this guy? Um, Tentacle. Tentacles, you know, British. Oh, nice. Okay, uh... Uh, <laughs> that's a cool, that's a cruel.
toxicity. Uh, Venomy. <laughs> um, this is a lot harder than I expected it to be. Squiddy. I'm gonna name him. Tenty. That's what, just what we're gonna name him. We're gonna name him Tenty. Tentacles, Tenty. Weird name. Yeah. But we're rolling with it. Let's keep on rolling. Go down here, let's fight some people. Leaving footprints in the sand is what? I didn't read the final of that. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, the graphics of Sword and, Sword and Shield look so nice, and I just can't wait to hop into it. The customizable features for your uh, for your characters, that's going to look awesome. Uh, Pokemon Camp looks actually pretty cool, too. Um, it's like having Nintendogs in Pokemon, almost, it looks like, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I'll probably have some fun with that. Um, what else? I'm really pumped to see Evolutions. I really want there to be a new Evolution. I'm really hoping there is. I'm really hoping all the rumors aren't wrong. Uh, like one of the main reasons why people think there's going to be a new Evolution is because there's been an Evolution on every even number generation. Excluding one. One is when Eevee came out. Blah, blah, blah. But then he got new evolution at, Evolutions at two. He got two new ones. At four, he got two new ones. And then at six, he got one new one. Now it's Gen 8. So we're going to get some new ones. Either one or two or whatever. Doesn't look like there's going to be a new typing. So obviously... No new evolution typing. That's a swamper. In case he has a ground type move, I'm gonna go into Poliwhirl. Because one one ground type move is gonna Oko my Aeron. Um Level 7 Swampert. That's a little worrisome. Don't sleep. Just in case he has more powerful move than tackle. This will buy me a couple more turns where I can uh defeat him and kill him uh but yeah anything else i'm really looking forward to in pokemon sword and shield uh the fact that gyms are back and it looks like they're gonna be intertwining gyms and trials uh i don't know if you've heard about the rumors but the rumors are saying that there's gonna be a little mini game that you kind of have to do before you can actually battle the gym leader so it's pretty cool so it's kind of like they're introducing trials into the gym perspective which is sick um, that I'm kind of down for. I'm really pumped that gyms are back, though, and it looks like the Pokemon League looks like it's going to be interesting. Because there's there was uh, a cinematic clip in one of the trailers that showed a bunch of trainers entering a gym. So I'm wondering if the Pokemon League is going to be you have to battle. It's going to be more like the anime base, where it's going to be like a tournament style, where you have to battle other trainers before you can then battle the champion, or then you have to battle the Elite Four. So pumped for that. I'm so down for a tournament base kind of like the anime. A 6v6 like on everybody. Or like round one is a 1v1 or something. Or like a 3v3. And then it's a 6v6. They can do so much with it and it looks so cool. Or even like a round where you get paired with someone and it's a double battle. That'd be so sick. Um, but yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh... Anything else in Pokemon's Orange Show that I'm looking forward to? Hmm. Oh no, I guess just new Pokemon everything essentially. I'm just looking so I'm so pumped about Sword and Shield. The only thing I'm so, I hate is that the complete Dex is not in it. But I do understand they want some more time to be able to build one Pokemon game up before they can uh, introduce all the Pokemon into the game. Probably in the next one there will be all the Pokemon. Like in the next one there's gonna be all the Pokemon that they missed added to it. They have to redo all the models now. Uh, even though there's not much changes, they still have to redo the models. They don't just want to port 3DS models into the Switch. Um, so, I understand it. Um, I'm upset that they got rid of Pokemon Following You once again. And I'm sure they have the walking animations made. Didn't put them in, which kind of sucks. They'll be able to walk with you. I, th I think they'll be able to walk with you in the wild area. I don't know if that was confirmed or not. But I really hope they can. Because, again, that was sick. Um, but yeah. What else is it? Sword and Shield that I'm really pumped for. Um, I guess just a new story. Right now, what they have with Sword and Shield looks so interesting. 
with all the rumors and stuff, the story can go any possible way, and it looks so cool uh, what they can do with it. And it could be a really interesting story with Pokemon Sword and Shield this year. Uh, nothing too dark or gruesome, but something. Oh, why did I go for tackle? It doesn't affect it. Oh, you're knocking off my quick claw? That wasn't very nice. A delayed animation of the quick claw getting booted. Go for hard. Uh, let's go for mud slap. Lower this guy's accuracy. Um, okay, now I don't care about knockoff. Knockoff is so weak in this game. I think it's a 20. Rather than a. Goes up to 60, I think. Sorry about that. Uh, I just kind of dozed off there for a second. What the hell was that all about? Um, what was that demon talking about? I just had a complete mind blank. Yo, what is with that? Oh my god. Uh, the shop is kind of annoying. That's for sure. Um, I know we were talking about Pokemon Sword and Shield, but what aspect of Pokemon Sword and Shield was it talking about? I cannot remember. I'm really interested. Oh yeah, I was talking about the story and how they could go a lot of different ways with it, especially with the two legendaries. They can do so much with it, and I really hope they get something really interesting and something really good going in the game. Um, and with like the possibility of sequels for that game, I really hope they do something really good and not something completely bland. Pokemon Sun and Moon and Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon was such a disappointment. Oh my god. Like, Pokemon Sun and Moon would have been a really cool game if... Pokemon Sun and Moon didn't exist. A ditto. That's decent and competitive. That sucks here. Give me some better Pokemon. And his ability means nothing. I'm really interested to see what his ability is because it won't matter. I'm going to stick with Tackle. I think a Mudstop's going to kill. I'll go for a Mudslap, but I think it's going to kill. If it kills, whatever. Doesn't okay. What's up? You know you want. Oh my God! Why did you do so much more? I hope is that a held item or is that ability? No, but Dilla Ditto transforms his ability changes. Uh, Pokeball. I should have hypnosis. Yeah. Go for the hypnosis. Come on, Swirly, let's do your magic. Uh, yeah, but Pokemon Sword and Shield, it's the first, like, main series game for Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. Like, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee wasn't a main series game. It was kind of like a side game kind of thing. Uh, it could be essentially like a secondary series for the thing like if they do a let's go series uh like it was different mechanics and stuff i'm gonna name this guy goo let's check out him check him out what was his oh yeah his was sandstorm he has huge power Ability doesn't change. He transforms. Now, that kind of makes him viable. Then. See, now I kind of want to try him just to see if his ability changes or not. Now I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna use a potion on my Aeron. That's sick. Huge power, Ditto. A focus band. Kind of useless. It only gives us the possibility of maybe staying in. Oh, Dawn Fan! That would have been so cool! Ooh. Yeah, you're not staying in. Not against a Dawn Fan. 
I don't even care if he doesn't have any ground type moves right now. He probably has Mud Slap. Older Sloop. No Ghost type was out here. Cause isn't that? The oh no, wait, isn't that Foresight? Is it Older Sloop? Ooh, we get a crit. What a guy. Uh, but yeah, Sword and Shield just looks way too good uh, to not be true. Uh, to, to kind of like just let it go type of thing. Just suck at it. I'm really hoping that they don't mess it up in the end. Um, like I really like like I said before, I really hate that they got rid of Megas. I think Megas in this game could have been so big, especially since. Um, like bad Pokemon battling is so huge apparently in the Galar region. Like it's their favorite thing in the world. Like that the things are televised and stuff. Megas would have been so cool for that type of thing. I think Megas fit right up that alley. Alley. Now we got Gigantamax forms instead. I'm level nine. You're level three. I don't think even a Water type move would do too much to me. And you probably only have Bubble. So yeah. Uh, but new Pokemon is what I'm really excited for. That's always been like the go-to thing when you're thinking about of a new pokemon game it's always i can't wait to see the new pokemon like poltergeist poltergeist um that was announced at the nintendo direct he looks pretty sick like he's nothing too special but like it's an interesting thing especially in britain like to have a tea pokemon and the pokemon's not even the tea pot it's the actual tea itself the liquidized tea as a human form it's a ghost type and stuff um that's so cool Lapras. i think it's all level three so i'm gonna stay in hope for the best expect the worst though now that we got headbutt let's use some headbutts let's see how much damage that's gonna okay yeah we got the crit mm. I'm probably gonna go back to training up Poliwhirl soon. Oh, Machamp, yeah. This guy's four times effective, don't wanna deal with that. I think I saw Machamp. Pressing buttons real fast, and I should probably should stop. Oh, it's a Machop, but still. Just in case, because I think he would have low kick too. Which I don't think would one shot Aaron, Aaron. Still. Gravoid, let's stay in. Yeah, new Pokemons are a new Pokemon is always the hype when it comes out to a new Pokemon game, um, and with like Poltergeist and the bird Pokemon that they introduced too in the Nintendo Direct, that's sick. And with like the Gulp missile ability and stuff, oh, that's so cool. I really hope the fish is an actual new Pokemon too in the Galar region, because the fish in his that he catches in his mouth is brand new Pokemon that we haven't seen. If you haven't seen the Nintendo Direct, by the way, or if, like this is huge spoilers for. But you were expecting you were trying to stay spoiler free pokemon sword and shield i'm really sorry about that but like if you're gonna watch pokemon content then you should have to expect that they're gonna talk about the next games uh i'm just gonna run away from the dust call i don't feel like swapping out um but yeah Okay, sorry about that. I kind of hit the Windows button by accident, and it kind of just glitched my game, and it wasn't letting me move my guy anymore. Um, but yeah, I really hope that fish that he catches is a second Pokemon because it looks really cool. The fish kind of has like a nice design, and it could it could look to be a pretty powerful Pokemon. Like to have that Pokemon evolve, to get back at the bird Pokemon for like scooping up all of its friends and using it as missiles or something that'd be really sick all right we're gonna go headbutt on this visual or attack nothing um but yeah i really hope we find out some new pokemon soon especially the evolutions for the starters i really want to see them soon um i have a funny feeling that we're gonna be getting a lot more pokemon news now like every week we're gonna get a little more pokemon news every week or two we're gonna get a little more up to pokemon sword and shield because pokemon sword and shield gets released in two ish months so i think slowly we're gonna be getting more and more pokemon news every week or two we're gonna get something new like one or two new pokemon type of thing 
Which I really hope so. And then, like, two weeks before the game, they're going to drop this major bomb. And it's just going to release, like, all the information you need to know about Pokemon Sword and Shield going into it. Um... I don't know. Like I said, question of the day is, what do you expect from Pokemon Sword and Shield? What would you like to see? Um, I think that's what my question of the day was. But yeah, just... Um, like, realistically, the question of the day is Pokemon Sword and Shield. Thoughts? Questions? What do you want from it? That's what it is. It's very generic. Um, yeah, you can't lower my stats, but he... <laughs> See, this is why I gave him the Quick Claw, but the Quick Claw hasn't come into effect once. Oh. But, um, yeah. Ooh, we're at 30 minute mark, so I'm probably gonna get out of the woods, and then we're gonna wrap up the video. In the next video, we're probably gonna go and take on the gym. And, yeah. That's probably gonna be the plan here. But, yeah, so the question of the day, like I said, it's pretty generic. Just answer it how you see fit. I'm really hoping this guy doesn't have... Actually, I'm gonna... Nope. Didn't mean to run. I'm gonna swap. Because on the off chance that, like, he has, like... I don't know. Magnitude? His rock throw. Um. I don't know if Golem moveset is really that great at the beginning. So, I just wanted to be certain and to make sure by getting rid of Aaron. Didn't want him staying in there for that. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts and your opinions are on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, what you expect to see from the game or what you really want to see from the game. We're going to pretty much wrap this up here right after I grab this berry juice. Actually, we're going to wrap it up by leaving the woods. And picking up this TM. Give me the TM. Give me the TM. All right, what's this TM gonna be? Poison Tail, not too bad. Let's see if anybody can learn it. Uh, but yeah, with that, on that note, Gooey can learn it. No point giving it to Gooey, unless I treat Gooey like an actual Pokemon. But I don't think his stats are that great. Like he's a normal type, he has huge power, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, uh, his stats are just that's aren't good enough. He's not meant to keep his stuff. He's meant to transform. But yeah. That's what we're going to call it. That's what we're going to call it today. Um, I hope you guys all did enjoy this episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. Uh, if you did enjoy, leave a like button, comment down below. Anything, the answer to the question today, or anything you want to tell me. Uh, and if you guys are enjoying the series so far, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. To be told when I post and stuff because I don't even know when I'm posting. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and as always, I will see the next one.